Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now it feels like a long time since I've said that and I don't know why. I think it's because it is. But anyways, today actually marks... Wait. Come here, you. Oh! Three years of having Pablo. It's been three years since we picked you up today. He has. You've been with us for three whole years. How's your experience been? He's lying, he's lying. So we get a lot of questions about how we're doing during lockdown, what have we been doing, how are the boys, etc, etc. So I thought we'd just address it in a video that everyone can get up to date on what we've been doing, what the boys have been doing, or lack of doing, and just everything that's gone on in the past like, six weeks or however long this lockdown has been. Honestly, I, like time is just warped at the moment. I don't know what day it is, I don't know what week it is. Let's go up. So we'll quickly discuss some things we can't show you with the camera and then we're going to do a tour of the house and show you everything we've been doing because a lot of people have been asking for a house tour as well so we'll just hit the nail on two heads at the same time. That's not how that works, Carl. Two birds, one stone. There you go. So first of all, we had a video go viral which was mind-boggling. The stats that started coming through from that were ridiculous. I'll double check now. So we're currently on 87,000 subscribers. We're heading towards that 100k guys and that just blows my mind. So thank you guys so much for the support. But we gained about 15,000 subscribers in like the space of two weeks, which I can't on it. It's, it still blows my mind this day. Obviously that's incredible for the channel and it's incredible for us because that's gonna help, that video alone is going to help finish off some stuff we need to do upstairs, which we'll get into when we get upstairs. But yeah, that's absolutely crazy. And then secondly, still not confirmed yet, but a lot of people have mentioned that Doug the Pug shouted our video out somewhere which is also absolutely incredible but if that's the case then they know who we are which means a Doug the Pug and that Pug Pablo collab could happen one day if they're aware of us that's a that's a first step so yeah the two mind-boggling things have happened this lockdown apart from that it's been very boring but we have kept ourselves busy by doing little jobs around the house and we'll show you them all a lot of them are very boring so be prepared for that but yeah, we're getting close to lockdown being lifted and we're so excited to finally go out, take the boys somewhere nice, take them to meet family, our other dogs in the family and stuff. It's going to be incredible. But let's go on a house tour. Let's show you guys exactly what we've done. You might have seen some of it on my Instagram or maybe done videos on some of it, but let's go. First up, we've got the garden, which is all in the shade so you can't actually see. We've also half laid the patio, which... I think between them took about four days. So that was a good amount of time taken. Stanley's already chewed half of these plants though, haven't you little man? Haven't you? Haven't you chewed half the plants already? So hopefully they continue to grow. Hey, the weather has been absolutely incredible as well for a couple of the, well two of the week first. So we did spend quite a bit of time just sitting in the sun, chilling with the boys outside. Obviously it would have been ideal to take them somewhere, but well we can't. Kitchen, you might not notice anything different, but Chelsea spent a few days painting the wall. So the wall is actually now grey. You can maybe see it. It was white. It doesn't look much different, but it definitely looks fresher. It looks, it actually looks so much better. You can see it's contrast there. It was all white, but obviously it was like, the because we bought this house new, it was all like that weird chalky paint. Now it's proper paint, it's good. Anyways, we've sorted out and organized all of the cupboards in here. So they're all nice and organized. Maybe sorted all the drawers out, all the cupboards. Well, relatively. We've also got this Lego bad boy. I spent two days, two full days making this. The biggest Lego set ever to be made. And I spent two days building that the other day. I did time lapse it, it's gonna go on my second channel. So if you're interested to see that, I'll leave a link to my second channel in the description and you can go watch that in a few days time once you get it edited up so already between doing the garden sitting in the garden the kitchen and that that's about two two and a bit weeks worth already there so you can see we spent a lot of time in this area of the house on to the living room it's basically like you've always seen in all the videos although we do now have a new bed for the boys so it's exactly like the ones that are upstairs that we used to have down here but now all three of them can fit in the one bed and you just love it don't you Puppy's gonna demonstrate now. So as you can see, it's much bigger than the other one, and you can fit three pugs in perfectly. And you just enjoy it, don't you? You all sleep together. It's good. It's good. 
So obviously we've been watching a lot of TV, catching up on a lot of TV series. Is, series is, series. I don't know. So I've binge watched like The Clone Wars from season one to seven, done The Mandalorian. There's been, a, that's had a lot of action. Chelsea then spent a day in here. So organizing the kind of court cover because it was an absolute mess, there was just stuff thrown everywhere. So we've got like a little unit down here now and everything's all organized. So we can actually get in, you can walk into it. it used to be just like, piled up to the door. No use can walk in, can't you? So now when Stan's been bad, we can just shut him in. Now I did spend the full day out front in the garden. I got all the moss out of this, cleaned it all up and like, you know, cleaned that up. We've obviously been cleaning the cars, I've cleaned them like three or four times already. Because there are lots of birds making lots of poop marks. I mean, it's not even going anywhere, but we're, it's still getting, still getting dirty and dusty. So I'm just, Spent a few days on them. Do you want to show, should we show them upstairs? Go on then. So then boys. Bathroom. I mean it's basically exactly the same. We've got like a new unit. And we've just been cleaning, tidying basically constantly. The towels just need to hang up on the rack there. Just been washed. This is basically the same. What are you Chelsea? How are you getting on? Hi. Hi Chelsea. Hi. So as you can see, Chelsea's been really good. Now those of you who have been around the channel for a long time will know that Chelsea has never done anything. No. And her excuse always was, it's not my house. But now, it is her house. So guess what she's been doing? Lots of things. So mm -hmm. there you go. I've become literally, absolutely... Mrs. Hinge. Addicted. See, as you can see, it's... Well, she's m messing about with new hair. She's, hey. got, she's got new hair, so there's a bit of a mess. But it's all clean here. There's no clothes lying anywhere. Literally. It looks I, like, really I've nice. been doing skirting boards. Yeah. <laughs> go Pablo! Go Pablo! Go Pablo! Oh, you won't get copyrighted for that, will you? We've also organised Chelsea's bag cupboard. Um, this is on need to go in the loft at the moment. But it's up there and I can't reach and I don't want to. What have you got? Stone. He's got a stone. Oh my gosh. Oh, the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. But Chelsea has like basically a full dressing room to herself and she still needs a separate cupboard for her bags. My bags are my special possession and anybody that knows that will know that. Cool. <laughs> In here we have the bedroom. If you've been tuning into the live streams, you'll have seen this. It's exactly as it was. We've got some clothes hanging up because of drying. And last but not least, we have my office. Now a lot of you guys may have not have seen this. This is where I do all the work. This is also where I stream. We're on Twitch now. So if you want to follow us, I'll again leave the link to my Twitch in the description. So this is where we edit the videos. This is where, yeah, this is where we edit us sleeping in the bed and then it goes viral and it's fantastic. And yeah, anybody who's new, you can maybe tell I'm a Marvel, Star Wars fan. There's a lot more than this. There's Infinity Gauntlet somewhere. I don't even know now. There's, there's, there's too much of this. But then this is what I've been busy doing. I've been collecting and buying stuff for my car. If you don't know, I've got a project car on the go at the moment. I say at the moment, I bought it because I was bored, staying at home, because I've been at home now for a good couple of months. And then lockdown happened as I got the car, but the car is at my mum's and I can't get it here because it's not insured, MOT or anything, I can't drive it. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of research, been spending a lot of time figuring out what I need and what I need to do with it, so this is, Everything I need for a project car, if you're into cars or project or something, again, my link for that channel will be in the description, go check it out. But as I discussed before, that video going viral is going to help me complete this setup because I need a proper computer for editing, like, um, pictures and doing the merch. This kind of thing. Because I'm struggling to do everything that I want to do on that and especially filming videos, like we want to do a video where like we react to our first kind of videos. It's been three years, we thought that'd be cool. But like we can't do it with this setup. We need like a another we need another computer for doing that and it'll also help with like the streaming and my other channel. So once we can get all this stuff out and we can go get ourselves a PC, hopefully, hopefully fingers crossed, that sleeping video made enough money, we can go get a proper computer for there. If not, we'll have to just call it for another few months or whatever. He's just following us. Are you? You don't even know where I'm going. Yeah. 
So yeah, that's what's kept us busy. What's kept the boys busy is just doing that stuff with us. They've they've been absolutely fine. They haven't really been going that stir crazy in the house. When we FaceTime like Chelsea's parents, or sometimes her mum comes round to the window, she lives just down the road. Like we talk through the window, obviously keep social distancing. And they go absolutely crazy when they hear a voice. Obviously they can't see her, but they just they go crazy. But yeah, we've been fully exploring our village. We've been taking them on various different walking routes around, going exploring new places like close to us, which has been really good. We've so found some nice things. We found a really nice horse that Pablo is like obsessed with. Um, there's a video of that. I will leave that in the description as well for you guys. I'll I would, if I remember. But things we've still got to do, Chelsea would like to paint the upstairs bathroom, potentially the bedroom as well, because they've still all got the original paint on, so we nice to get them done. So we've still got lots of things to do, but we've just, we've not rushed through anything because if they decide that we're going to be in lockdown another two, three weeks, then we want stuff to do. So we've been kind of holding off on a lot of things. But as you can see, the boys are coping just fine. You're, you're fine, aren't you? He's fine. Boop. Can't wait to finally take them out though and just get them fully exposed. I wanna we wanna go to the beach. That's the first place we wanna go, isn't it fella? We wanna get to the beach. Gonna go to the beach, eat, let's go get away. Do you want to look any less miserable? Now that Lego took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Like I said, it took I think full 19 hours across two days. So I'm a little behind on these videos now. I said I was going to get back going on this channel and I'm going to revive my old channel again for like the fifth time, but never mind. But I do plan a lot more puggy videos coming out very shortly. We're going to be back in the rhythm of doing it. So that's you guys all caught back up to date. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. It does help us out massively. And we're close to that 100K, so just help us out. It'd be massively appreciated. And as always, people, peace out.